Hi everyone, I'm Heidi and we are in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by T-Set and we happen to have Julie here from T-Set yes. as well as Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thank you for joining us here and I'm just going to let Val kind of jump in first. What are we working on today? What are we doing? So we're making a banana bread but we're changing it up because we're using chickpea flour or gar okay. garbanzo bean flour and so it's going to be um, allergen free in terms of the top eight allergens and so if gluten intolerance or um, any kind of gluten allergy that you might have, we're, we're side, sidestepping that. Okay? okay, this is a good alternative. Yes. Okay. So we have chickpea flour, our dry ingredients here are chickpea flour, a little sugar, a little bit of salt, um, cinnamon, baking powder, baking powder, baking soda, and then our wet ingredients um, are banana, canola oil, vanilla, a little bit of almond milk. And so we're just going to um, stir these together and pour them in the pan, pop it in the oven. Okay, and while she's doing that, can you tell us a little bit about T-Set and Shape Your Future? Yeah, so Shape Your Future is a program of T-Set, and it's really aimed to help Oklahomans have healthy habits. So okay. eat better, move more, be tobacco-free, and we're geared toward families because we know that parents and caretakers really set the norms for their kids, and so we want to make it easy, have resources at our website, shapeyourfutureok.com, so that we can have that healthier next generation. Right, it's the little steps, and you kind mm -hmm. of ingrain that in them as they, as they get older so that they will continue to pass that on exactly. as well. And I know um, some of these things, are. do you find them very easy for people? They're quick. I mean, is that a good Yeah, a lot of it is what do you have around the house or how can you add vegetables to a meal or how can you have extra bananas so you don't have to have as much sugar as you might have in a traditional banana bread recipe. So it is you know, what can we do, small things, easy things, so that you are, you know, incorporating health or reducing your overall sugar intake and right. keeping you fresh and moving. Just monitoring those things, mm -hmm. making making little adjustments. Yes. All right, you are now to this point, so you had mentioned you pop it in the oven? Yep, pop it in the oven. This takes about 30 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven. And this is our finished product. And now here's the finished product. It looks amazing, so amazing. I think we should test it, right? Absolutely. All right. So I will go ahead and just dive in, and if you want to do the same. You're a middle eater, huh? I'm a middle, like, I know. Look middle at, brownie see, I piece. I just destroyed the middle right <laughs> off the bat. All right, I'm going to taste this. This was very popular at my house. Some people, I won't say who, didn't even know the difference between uh, uh, wheat flour and the chicken. No, flour. it is so good. Seriously, you need to try this one. For more mm. information, go to the website, 2kjrh.com, and I'm just going to keep eating and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.